Wind River. It's the directorial debut from Taylor Sheridan. Is it any good? Let's find out. Hey, what's up, you guys? Film fan 0599 here again. And today we're going to review Wind River. So Wind River stars Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen. And what this film is basically about. It's about, you know, after this man finds the body of a woman, they need to, with the help of the FBI and stuff, they need to find out who the murderer was. And also this man is trying to kind of somewhat seek redemption for something in his past that, you know, he couldn't do. So, what did I think of Wind River? Now, Wind River, I actually at first didn't really know much about it, to be completely honest with you. Like, I really didn't watch any of the trailers for it. All I knew going into it was that Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen were starring in it. But then later down the line, I found out that Taylor Sheridan was directing this. And Taylor Sheridan made one of the only movies last year to get an A-plus for me. Um, Hello High Water, you know, he wrote that movie, and I was like, okay, I'm really excited for this, because, you know, he's writing the movie, but he's also directing it, so, I was very, very excited to see what he could do with his directorial debut with Wind River, and it's fantastic, I loved Wind River, I could most definitely see this ending up being in my top 10 of the year, this is such an incredible movie, I loved Wind River, it is such a fantastically made thriller. It really is. It is so great. I love this movie so, so much. Wind River is fantastic. So, let's get into my positives. And my positives are, first being, the acting. The acting is really great in this movie. I think everyone gives a really solid performance in this film. Jeremy Renner is fantastic. I love him in this movie. He does such a fantastic job in the film. You really care about his character. You really get invested in his character. You know what I mean? Like, you really get invested. The character development in this movie is really fantastic. It's a very, very character-driven story, and I like that a lot. And they do such a fantastic job with Jeremy Renner's character. Like, you know, the writing for him is great. Like, they make you really care for him. And same goes for, you know, Jeremy Renner doing the acting performance. He's great. Like, he really... Shows off the emotion that he's supposed to do. He just does an incredible job. And makes you really care for his character. Like I loved Jeremy Renner in the film. He did such a fantastic job. Elizabeth Olsen as well is really great too. Like I thought she gave a great performance as well. She was fantastic. You know she made you. Like they really made her. You know she really made um, you care for her character. You know and she does a really great job with that. Like I really loved her in the movie. She did a fantastic job. So yeah, the acting is really solid in the film. I thought everyone gave um, a great performance in the movie. Everyone did such a fantastic job. Um, you know, just the um, intense moments in the movie are really great. Like, they do such a great job of really keeping you on the edge of your seat. Ta uh, Taylor Sheridan does a great job of just leaving you on edge of what's going to happen, you know? Like, he really, really leaves you on edge of, like, what's going to happen next. And he does such a fantastic job. I love it so, so much. And, you know, it, it just, like, especially in the third act, holy moly, like, there's stuff just get insane. Like, it's really intense. Like, I love the intense moments in this movie. They are great. Like, it's very, very well handled. And it had me on the edge of my seat wondering what was going to happen next. Um, just, I love, you know, this is what I love about Taylor Sheridan, he knows how to make great character-driven movies. You know, he did it first with Sicario, then he did it with Hello High Water, and now he's doing it again with this movie. And, he does such a fantastic job of just really focusing on characters. And, you know, he, it's fantastic, I love how he focuses on these characters, and it's just the moments with them, like, there's a really really emotional moment, you know, I'm not going to say much, of course, because I don't want to spoil it, but there's this really emotional moment, which is Jeremy Renner is talking to Elizabeth Olsen, and it, it's so emotional, and so well handled, like, it really is, like, I thought it was so well handled, the acting in that scene is incredible, like, I just love that, and, like I said, just the way it focuses on characters in this movie is 
really, really fantastic, and they do such an incredible job in this movie with that. So, yeah, I, I love how they just handle, you know, the character moments in this and just make it a really great character-driven movie. And like I was saying before, this this movie is depressing as hell. Like, it really is. On, honest to God, it's really depressing, this movie. But they handle it so well. Like, I love how they handle the emotion and, you know, the depression in this movie. Like, there are two scenes that are just brutally haunting. Like, there are two images in this movie that are brutally haunting. Like, they're not going to leave my mind for a while. Like, seriously, they... And just the way that they're handled in this movie is great. Like, I really do think t uh, Taylor Sheridan did a fantastic job of handling those scenes uh, gracefully, honestly. And it's really fantastic. Like, the emotion in this movie is very well handled, and it's not forced. Like, they do a great job of really making the emotion, you know, seem emotional. I love that about this movie. Um, the writing is fantastic, you know, Taylor Sheridan does another great job of creating an absolutely fantastic screenplay. You know, the writing for this film is amazing, like, the dialogue between all the characters are fantastic. I love, like I said, the nice character moments and the character-driven story. It just works for this film so much, and I love it. And like I said, Taylor Sheridan's directing is absolutely incredible. This is definitely a fantastic directorial debut. And he does such a great job. Like, it's so well shot. The editing is amazing. Like, I love the editing with this movie. And the cinematography is absolutely beautiful. I love the cinematography with this movie. Just, it's so great, the cinematography. So, so beautiful to look at. It really is. It's so amazing. So, yeah, Taylor Sheridan does a really fantastic job directing the film. It's very well shot, very well edited. Cinematography is gorgeous. So, yeah. And uh, lastly, the movie does move at a pretty solid pace for the most part. I will say that. The movie's an hour and 46 minutes in. You know, it does move at a nice solid pace. I was interested for a majority of the film, and I did think the movie did move at a nice solid pace. Now, the only negative I do have with this film is that there are some um, there is a moment where I do think the movie does get slow and kind of just drags out a bit. But that's honestly it, really. Like, that is the only thing, really, that, you know, I really have a problem with is that it just drags at one point during the movie. I was just like, okay, can we speed along a little bit? But that's it. Everything else is fantastic about this movie. If you have not seen Wind River yet, see Wind River. It is such an incredible thriller. You know, it's intense as hell and it's depressing as hell. And it works for both. Honestly, like, they do such a great job of handling the intense moments and the emotional moments in this film. It's really great. It has fantastic performances, fantastic writing. Just everything about this movie is incredible, and you honestly have to see it. So, it's time for my official grade on Wind River, and my official grade on Wind River is an A. It's an incredible movie. If you have not seen it, please see it. It's so fantastic. I love this movie so, so much. It's so incredible wind river phenomenal movie definitely deserves an a so if you have seen wind river what did you think of it leave in the comment section below and i'm film fan 0599 and we will see you all later peace